Rangers made their intentions clear in the opening minute of this match. Alexei Mikhailichenko's shot striking Tommy Turner and flying over the bar. Ali McCoy on from the start and looking for his first goal since March was denied by Andy Rhodes four minutes later. But Rhodes could do nothing to stop Rangers in the 12th minute. Hatley's header and Houstra pounced to thrash the ball into the net for his third goal in two games. Ian Ferguson was running the show in midfield for Rangers. Having seen off his opponents, he floated a great ball to Gary Stevens. The fullback in turn found Mikhailichenko inside the St. Johnston box. Rhodes tried and failed to dispossess him, but he was more successful second time around. Peter Houstra is another player who's right on form. He decided to go it alone in the 33rd minute. But his finish couldn't match his build-up. St. Johnston showed they posed a threat when Goff's clearance was gathered by Harry Curran. His 20-yard shot was pushed past the post by Ali Maxwell. Dave McPherson was the linchpin in the next Rangers attack, working his way through the middle before laying the ball off to Trevor Stephen. But his finish was weak. Four minutes from the break, Saints proved again they couldn't be discounted. Harry Curran setting up Paul Wright, whose deflected shot had Maxwell scrambling. 1-0 though to Rangers at the interval. And within a minute of the restart, it could have been two. The knockdown for Mark Hakeley, and only a brilliant save by Andy Rhodes denied him a goal. Ferguson's effort flew wide. But Rangers' second wasn't long in coming, and it was simplicity itself. Gary Stevens crossed to the far post, and Mark Hakeley, unmarked, headed past Rhodes. It was no more than Rangers deserved. St. Johnston, though, didn't give up the fight. Paul Wright tested Maxwell again in the 57th minute. A free kick by Mikhailichenko was spectacularly wild, but with a two-goal advantage and cruising, the Ukrainian could see the funny side of things. In the final minute, Rangers nearly made it three. Mark Hakeley's header cleared off the line by Harry Curran, who then completed the clearance as Hauster ran in. So 2-0 it finished, a second successive victory for Rangers.